I'm Selfina Murji. I'm 37 years old. I live in Washington, D.C. And I began running in 2005. I was living in Damascus, Syria, and wanted to get into running again. I had not run since high school. And over the next couple of months, worked my way up to a 5K, then set my sights on a 10K, and then half marathon. And because we were living in the Middle East at the time, decided to run um, my very first half marathon in Paphos, Cyprus. And I love running. Um, I don't love it every day. <laughs> and I'm not your, your typical marathoner. And I am running the Boston Marathon as part of AKF USA's run team. And I would love your support. So the Boston Marathon is an iconic marathon, and um, I have, you know, have had it on my bucket list for years. And uh, this was an opportunity, you know, for someone like me who is not an elite athlete, who's not going to qualify, you know, on my own with, you know, super fast times, um, to do it, to, you know, choose to do it with an organization like AKF, and to be part of a run team was of significance and meaning for me. You know, after the events of last year, which, you know, um, were horrific, they were shocking. Um, and for me personally, you know, the um, opposite or a complete misrepresentation of um, my faith and the values and the, um, the ethics that I have been brought up with um, to be part of a run team like this and to represent an organization like AKF that embodies um, the values of compassion and tolerance and peace and service to others um, is a, a, a wonderful opportunity and I'm so grateful that I can be part of a team like this. Right, so I personally have had um, the opportunity to live in um, Damascus, Syria. I've lived in, um, in Tajikistan and Dushanbe. I've worked in some of those places as volunteers for AKF and others as a consultant. And I've seen firsthand, you know, the impact of these programs on these communities and how in many ways it just changes the, the trajectory of their lives. Um, and so it's exciting. It's exciting for me to be on this side of it this time, being in North America, raising funds for programs that I have seen. There is no other motivation um, like thinking about the communities and the programs that are going to um, hopefully be funded by the funds that we raise through this AKF run team. You know, it gives me such motivation to think about some of the programs like in, in Kyrgyzstan that have been able to fund preschool teachers that travel with families that have to migrate uh, with their livestock over several months during the year so that these children have access to preschool services. And um, you know, as an early childhood educator, as a mom of two boys that are three and seven, that inspires me. And when I think about that when I'm running out there, it's hard, you know, to train for a marathon, but it gives me energy to think that, you know, the funds that I'm raising are going to help children have access to some of the mini libraries that are created you know for these communities so that kids have access to books and that their parents can read with them and and, and we found just like the research shows in North America that over there that you know children who have access to these services that when they get to primary school they outperform in reading and in math so it, that's part of my motivation when you believe in something as much as I believe in um, uh, AKF and, and the programs that it funds, particularly the ones that are close to my heart, which are the early childhood education programs, um, and they have a presence in 30 countries uh, all over the world. Um, and when you want something as bad as I want to do this, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the youngest member on the team, I'll be 38 when I run. Um, you make time, you make it a priority, and for people who know me, they know that, um, you know, I won't leave anything on the table. I'll put everything out there. I will push to the end. And, um, you know, when I cross that finish line with my teammates, it's going to be an amazing, amazing moment. <laughs>